Hi, this is Sandy, and I'm going to try something a little different with my light ring and see if that might be too light. I don't know, I can't tell. So it doesn't give such an orange cast. But this is a uh, little sugar britches that I just finished. And um, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to title it Sugar and Spice on here. It should be downloaded tomorrow. Here is a pocket with a bunny tag. And here is a little girl turned and behind a little lace curtain. Might have this too big. Um, antique baby shoes. These are all coffee dyed papers, laces, and um, that's why you see all these designs and quotes that I have searched the internet for and images that are appropriate to go with it. And this one is a tag that I collaged and made and you can write on the back. I usually stencil a design on the back and um, this is uh, uh, some of old Lucina's images and dresses and tags from my porch prints. This says choose to shine and I just think this little girl is so cute. Now this is a flip out pocket. I'm gonna have to do this video over. She's got her teddy bear. Let me see if I can get this back down in here. And then it flips open to two other images. Sometimes I flip it out and there's a quote, but, and I made a lace pocket here. I'm gonna do this while the lawnmower isn't running. <laughs> and, and here's the little girl picking up different things and putting them in her little basket, sitting on a little log that's very sweet, and a little image of a vintage teddy bear and advertisement and another I think that's polka dot art this is and then this little tag I've got so many different pieces of ephemera I'm not sure I can I don't want to leave anybody out but I'm not sure I should have written a list so I would know I just grab and go a bear knows all your secrets and keeps them. And this is a little pocket. She's reading to her teddy bear. And this is one of Wendy's actually handmade bears that she sells on Pinterest. And um, collage of buttons. Peekaboo, I see you. I use some of... Uh, it was pretty little roses made by own collage and button trim and images, like I said, that I searched the internet for. Pages for you to write on and record on and pockets to stick notes and pictures in. And I love this little girl in the mud puddle and I use twine to twist it around the um, punch holes and twist it around the image, which it's a little different. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. And that pertains in a whole lot of areas, doesn't it? <laughs> and this is two little girls looking at the ocean and a piece of lace glued on here. And, um, She beats to the beauty of her wildlife heart and seashell soul. 
thought that was unusual too. Old vintage photograph image. It's the little moments in childhood that make the biggest memories. You can tell they're little siblings. And this little girl looking out the window with her mama's hat on. And I've, you know, I've torn, I've got old, old books that are, you know, damaged. And so I use, I overlap, tear, try to give it some texture. And so each of my journals are unique in themselves. Sometimes you'll see the same image, but I try not to do that very often. Here's a little girl sewing, crocheted heart, and some lace. It's all the scene as little mice. The greatest gift given to us is each other. Real appropriate for little siblings. I've got a paper, a piece of sheet music with paper scalloped edging and lace. And here is a um, Boho Daydreams. Oh, dreams, uh, digital of layered pieces of hers in one of her digital kits. And then this is the back cover. And this is a My Porch Prints pocket. And then I, it's from her campy, happy camper. But then I used my own little image in it and put it in the back pocket. There's the back cover. That's another image from the internet. And then I cut it out, cut some off, and fixed it so that it would be um, under the lace. Here's the spine. Here's the cover. And um, this, this little Hydrangea and these little suitcases are carry-ins from Shabby Art Boutique. And here's some pieces of ephemera and some trim. And so you can see she's, some of mine have a lot more lace, not too much lace out the sides, and but then the back. I just sort of go with the image and try to create the page and the thought and the quote. So she's full, she's happy. They're all about the same size, four and a half by five and a half. And um, I ship in the United States. She's 105 and uh, I mean, I'm sorry, she's 95 and with $10 priority mail, it, it the total would be 105. And I ship them as soon as you contact me on private message or on here. And uh, my name is Sandy Simpson. You can look at my Facebook page. My husband's an author and his he's on there too, J. Larry Simpson. So if this little baby talks to your heart, I think I will title this Sugar and Spice. Actually, Larry looked at that uh, image and said Sugar and Spice. So I think I'm going to stick with that. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice weekend. And that maybe the weather isn't as hot and humid where you are as it is here in Georgia, but that's okay. What do we expect? It's July, end of July. We're going into August, so that's just the way it is. So I will see you later. Thank you. Bye.